Hello YouTube, Andrew from Snakeworks. Today I'm making a video about blood pythons that did not turn red. So we're all aware that sometimes you're going to get a blood python that just stays brown its whole life. A lot of the farm and, and, and imported animals would do that. They're not line bred. They're still the same fun animal. Uh, my first snake that unfortunately passed away, well, my first short tail Bronger's Mine that unfortunately passed away a few years ago, just never turned red. Her name was Marla. She was a great snake. And I really, it, it helped me learn a lot about short tails and fall in love with the species. But this video isn't so much about that, that random pet store animal or an import that doesn't turn red. I want to talk about like actual line bred animals that don't live up to the hype. Nobody wants to talk about this. I mean, who can blame anybody? If I'm selling a snake to somebody, I, I want them to be sure that their animal's gonna turn red. And the animals that you're looking at, at in front of you right now didn't turn red. Now I can say like, oh, how, how come it didn't turn red? Like they don't all turn red, but both of the animals you're looking at right now, their parents are crazy red. Like crazy, crazy red. So, I mean, this is a line bred martyr. This is a line bred T negative albino. I bought these both from reputable breeders who care about their animals. I know what the parents look like. The parents for both these animals are stunning. So what happened? And I, I think it basically comes down to like, I wasn't deceived. It's just a matter of like, sometimes these animals don't turn red. And that's something you have to accept if you're going to get into blood and short tail pythons. Like sometimes they're just not gonna turn out the way that you thought they were going to. Um, I think these are the only two I have out of 13 that really haven't lived up to my expectations. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about what my expectations were and like what I'm not seeing so you can better understand. I'll start with this. This is a T negative. I mean, gorgeous animal. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to zoom in on her eye. Look at that. Beautiful animal. incredible coloring and you see that red right there so that started turning red when i got this animal some years ago but then it just didn't follow through now the father to this snake is extremely red like skittle red like the candy it's red as a skittle and it was bred to a het t negative that was a dark burgundy. And the point of the pairing that that breeder chose to make or move forward with that pairing, sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here, was to bring more red into this animal. And it didn't happen. It, it, it progressed a little bit and it still is turning a little bit more red all the time. But at say three years old, I think this animal is, you know, he, he should be skittle red dark red and it didn't happen so you're taking a chance when you're buying short tail pythons now this this animal cost uh i think i paid 550. now there's another animal i have in another video it was much younger i paid about half that and it's already redder than this animal um you know there's not much you can do about that it's a great animal it's a fun animal but it is a little bit disappointing when you're when you're buying something to breed and it doesn't come out how you think it's going to. So I guess, uh, you know, you kind of have to take stock in that and be like many other things in life, like maybe it won't turn out the way you think it will. Uh, this other girl, this is one of the spicier animals I own. Thank God she calmed down because she gained weight and she has a lot of growing to do. Great stripe on her. 
can get some better lighting. Her parents are insanely red. Absolutely insanely red. And you can see, you know, there's some pink, some reds. Get my finger in here. In here. She definitely has a lot of red over there. Has a great head. I mean, that's just a dark head. That red stripe that goes through the middle of it. It's great. Um, but you know, the the rest of her just did not turn out that red. And I've seen people breed animals of this quality and hatch out incredible animals. Um, Kevin Martyr. I don't know the gentleman personally. I do have one of his other snakes that I got off someone else. And this is a line bred martyrs. Two of his animals put together. It wasn't not him that did the pairing. It was not Kevin Martyr that I got those animals from. But in all, everything that you can do to say, oh, I, I want to produce a red snake was done. And some of the clutch mates from this animal are incredibly red. But sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go. I'm not going to name the breeders. I respect them both. They they produce amazing animals. This isn't their fault by any means. It's just something that like didn't work out and that's sometimes just the way it goes. So some I, I don't really show these animals off only because you know, if people want to see the really red stuff, the really dark stuff, whatever the traits may be that we're looking for. But I felt it was time to just do a video and kind of just air that out, get it off my chest, be like, hey, like what happened here? I think this animal is like $750, $750. I will still breed this snake. I believe that with the right pairing, I'll probably put her with the uh, striped martyr VPI stripe that I have that was produced by Kevin Martyr. And I wouldn't be surprised if this animal ends up producing absolutely stunning striped red snakes. <sighs> well, I feel better getting that off my chest. I, I hope that someone can understand short tails a little bit better by watching some of these videos I'm making. It's funny that both these animals haven't moved. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Let me see if I can engage them a little bit. There you go. She's nice. She was, she was vicious when I got her. Well, I don't know which one that was. One of them was just giving a little warning. Like I have bright lights in my eyes. Now your hands coming around. Is that you? I can't see. Sometimes you can even see their, the pits on their nose move. <laughs> I can't tell. That's a great dark head on this animal. Look at that, it's, it's beautiful. So I guess the, the lesson for today, even though you can do the research, you can pick out the correct animals, Sometimes things don't turn out the way they're supposed to. And I guess there's nothing to get upset about. But, you know, you, you just got to take it in turn. Take it in stride. All right, I'm done rambling. I hope you enjoyed looking at these two animals. They're both beautiful animals. And uh, please subscribe. I, I love seeing the subscriber count going up. It gives me motivation to keep making these videos and sharing whatever knowledge I may have. And uh, as always, you know, if you have any questions, throw it in the comments. Thank you for watching.